Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play EU4. Welcome back to my France series. This will be episode 29, and today we are at war with Genoa and uh, Venice. And Genoa, actually, surprisingly, is taking some of our stuff, so we're going to go fight them, even though I don't want to spend the money on it. But we're going to go take this all back and uh, make it so that they can't have our territory. Because that makes me mad. But we are, in the meantime, sending troops over to... Uh, over on a boat to New Orleans. Because we want to eventually go to war here. And that will be helpful in expanding our territory there. Okay, actually, Milan is regaining our territory for us. Uh, what is this? We can get him to join the court, or we can let him stay home. Let's do that. I haven't done much with the people in court. Let's go ahead and cut that down. And transports, did they finish here? Very good. So they can come back to Bordeaux. Very good. And you guys can all join together now. Get bigger. Very good. And this, okay, uh, we can tap that or we can let it be and we might gain some power. Let's go ahead and tap that. Okay, so we are building a spy network here, supposedly. Yeah, okay, we're almost there. Invest in the naval force. Things will cost more, but technology will be less. Yeah, all right. Here, we can fabricate a claim. On there. It'll last for 25 years. So now we could come up here. Oh, he's no diplomat to send right now. Where is he? He's in Spain. He's building a spy network here. Okay, that's fine. We want to come in here and... They don't have any rebels. Bummer. Great power. Alright, well... Recall that diplomat then. Okay, uh, new idea. We can get more trade power. Very good. And technology we can invest in. Oh, good. We can get better infantry. Very good. So that helps us catch up a little bit here. High naval attrition, low maintenance. That's fine. Uh, and we want to come in here. No. We want to come in here. And this should be these guys. So they will have better shock value. Now let's do that. Here, we're already on the more powerful one. Okay. So that's all good. All right, declining power of nobility. They are losing influence, that is fine. What do we have here? Are they, yeah, they're the better military. Very good. Here comes our transports. They need to repair for a little bit. Also, we are getting more sailors, which is good. They are repairing. Excellent. We have a self-sustaining colony up here now. Which means that's this one here. We should be doing a little bit better with our money. 17 now. That will get them ready. Let's get this guy down here now. That's four, five. Five. Let's go ahead and send him here. 
Oh no, he's working on one of these other ones. Recall him from there. Okay, it's probably not actually the one I should have recalled him from, but that's fine. This needs to get more powerful too. We need to send some troops up there, but for now we're gonna go to war up down here. And we can, uh, uh, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait because we want to get, uh, okay, this needs to be repaired. Come into economy, fleet maintenance, crank that up. Maintenance, okay. We're doing better with that now. This guy should be getting repaired now. Hopefully. Okay, then... Where are we at? England was redo... Uh, was doing something. Whatever. We want to wait to declare war anyway until we have a claim on both of those territories. But I think this will be all good. We need to get these troops over there. And then we'll be able to go from there. And this war is going very well. Take Albinga. And Milan is going to take this. Milan is getting very strong. And look at that. They are up in the Alps. I think, yeah, we, we let them have that. They took it from Burgundy. Eventually, I wouldn't mind, although I think that is Spritz territory to begin with. Okay, there's a... Yeah, Burgundy has a core, Milan, Provence. Oh, Provence has a core there. Interesting. I mean, eventually, Provence is going to be our land. I demand it. But as of now, they would bring in a whole bunch of allies. Although it's kind of tempting. Because England... I mean, that is a ton of troops. Diplomatic again. It's tempting, but I feel like, are we using that here? No, that's administrative power. Diplomatic power will be our next idea. Let's go ahead then and come in there. We're not ahead of time, so we can go ahead and do that. Yeah, do it. So we can get a flute, is that right? If we come in... Nope. Uh, shoot. Just clicked on totally the wrong thing. Clicked out of my window. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and we want military. All right, we have flutes. Very good. And these are at 100%, so that is good. You need to get on the ships. I'll bring the ships out here, I guess. And go out that way. Good, these are the transports. Yep, transports. You've got the people. Come over here. Drop them off to our colonial army here. See, I want to build this up because I'm worried about Portuguese Mexico being there. Just like here, they've expanded. That ours? No, that's somebody else. Okay. Eventually, they could come down here. Trinidad. Be a good spot. But I think we're going to have to go to war with Cuba at some point. Portugal would join in. Portugal isn't very strong, though. That's where it's interesting. But if we declared war with them, we would have a whole bunch of problems if we went to war directly. If we went to war here, we would still have problems. Okay, 
but Portugal is not scary, is what I'm realizing. Portugal, they have 33,000. No, why did it say that they, I don't know. Uh, they accepted peace, what do we get out of it? I don't think we get anything. Milan accepted the peace, but not Genoa. So that one is going to end very soon though. And Genoa is going to lose that territory. I don't know what else is left. Okay, uh, lose military power or lose prestige. Lose the power. Genoa has two territory. They're very tiny now. Okay. That is all fine. These armies are here. Merged and ready to go. We're going to come in here. Covert action. Get a claim on that too. Very good. Now we're going to stop building this spy network because we don't need it anymore. And we are going to declare war. We want to take which one of these do we want? Oh, minus. Okay, we want to come in here real quick to cancel the military access. Okay, and does that get us down to the right number of. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Burgundian particulars. Crossed our borders from Burgundy. Huh. What does that mean for stability? They are slowly gaining power, but it's not a big deal. Okay, coming back here. We have this guy, which adds some power. Um, yeah, we're going to come in here and... Can't send another one yet. Okay, coffee time. We have no diplomats to send. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, now we do. Now we can go to war. And we want... That doesn't matter which one. We'll just come in here to economy. To up our maintenance. And we're going to let that morale grow first of all. And then we're going to declare war. And that should be an easy war. Then we'll gain quite a bit more territory here. Theoretically. Truce with Switzerland has ended, that's fine. I want to go right up the Mississippi here. Because that's where the development is. Seven, four, really like right up here what is it uh whatever Missouri well anyway we have full morale we are ready to go the Cherokee and the Wichita are joining in that's a troubling development there, but okay. We're going to do it anyway. And we're going to come in here. But I feel like, okay, they have military level 9. They don't have much military. Who was it that joined in? The Cherokee and the Wichita. The Cherokee are way over here. They don't have a ton Wichita way up here they're already at war so they aren't going to want to fight much so we're going to win this pretty fast and then we'll be able to go from there Portuguese Mexican noble rebels that's interesting I wonder how they'll fight that royal marriage with Spain has ended let's go to Spain uh, Spain 
get a royal marriage. We want that. Uh, and does that mean that they have somebody to die? No, and they have a new heir anyway. Okay, so coming back to this. We won that siege. We want to come over here. Another colony is self-sustaining. That is good. Speaking of which, we want to send a person down here. And another one is about to be self-sustaining as well. Excellent. So somewhere here we want to... Recall, no, that's all fine. So that is about to become its own thing. We're gonna get one down here. And we're gonna send one here too. And here comes Choctaw. They're not fighting us. Who are they? Are they at war with another place? Defender against... Alright, so their troops are somewhere else. That's good. That means it will go better for us. And the siege is going pretty quick. 14%. We're at 7% here. And ticking upwards. Very good. And then that will allow us to win that. I don't know what fight they're having. This is Wichita up here. That winter coming in. And okay, Genoa accepted peace. I don't know if we got anything from it because we did not do anything to them or for them. Okay, very good. Only one more to worry about right now. That is how I like it. We do have more sailors, so we can go over and have a lot of money too. We want to get a few more transports. Where are our transports anyway? Over here. We want to send them back over to the main to the continent because they are really the intent is that they will just put them down here. They will eventually help us ferry troops over to England. And as a matter of fact, we're going to come in here and get some more. So they only take 50 soldiers, so that's good. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get five more of those. Though, how many... Okay, we have plenty of limit there. Very good. Now, this army, how is that siege going? 57. We won. Very good. Now we just have to wait. The Cherokee have low war enthusiasm. Can we get them out of this? Super peace. I want you out. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we have gained a claim against Portuguese in Mexico. Okay, the Cherokee are out of the war. And Wichita, can you get out too? No, you don't want out. Alright, well we could send somebody up to Wichita. We have 3,000 troops. I think... I mean, here comes... She shown. Yeah, let's go ahead up, on up there. And we will get them out of the war. And then we are going to take this. I wonder what will happen if that goes there. Let's get some covert action there. Uh, we can't get one there can get one in Portugal though. Yeah, that would be a good use of our diplomat. Ooh, and we can invest in another idea. What can we get? Diplomatic relation. We get one more diplo relation there. It's good. We're going to get another colonist soon. 
very good. And how is our trade power out in these nodes? 20% in the Mississippi, 40% in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Which, do we have a, a merchant up there? We do. And he's steering 1.31 back here. And then we have 79% there. That is very good. Alright, well, this war has not ended as quickly as I thought it would, but that is where we're going to need to leave it today. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.